What is up, everybody? It's June 16th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We're getting a pretty good thunderstorm right now. So let's go try and catch some of this bad boy. How's everyone doing today? Hope you all are having a great day. Um, I got another video uploading tomorrow. Um, it was a Harley ride to Lake Arrowhead and just a, a short little walk, like five minutes next to the lake. Um, it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. But the cool thing about the video I'm uploading tomorrow is it's with the new GoPro. The new GoPro Hero 11 Black. My, it's my new, new GoPro. It, it's been out for like eight, eight or nine months now, but um, I used the like highest quality settings, which I've never had access to before because I only have the GoPro Hero 8. And my goodness, it's crazy looking. It's it's like a it's like a 5K type of a thing, and then a, a hyper view, which instead of just your regular wide view, it's like extremely wide, so you can see so much on the right and left hand side of the video. Pretty cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the ride on the Rim of the World Highway. It was fun. It was, it was beautiful too. It always is though. We're very fortunate to live in this mountain range because uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why because I've always wanted to live in other mountains. <clears throat> In other mountain ranges like uh, the Rockies or the Sierras. The way I think about it is it, it, it it's only <clears throat> it's only up from here in terms of like bigger, better mountain ranges. So I've started off at this little guy, little San Bernardino National Forest. Uh, hopefully someday we I mean I, I, I lived at the base of the Rockies for two years and I'd go skiing once a week every winter time two winters that I lived there which was pretty cool my boarding school took us skiing once a week if you behaved because as I said it's a boarding school so we weren't there for for being necessarily the best honor students, you know. So we're gonna drive back into this now. We're gonna head into Moon Ridge. Yeah, once again, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm a little bit on the exhausted side. Excited to go to Florida next month. Gonna go see my 91 year old father. That's, that's going to be pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to have to head into the Moon Ridge area to catch some of the storm. As, as you saw, we started in the Moon Ridge area and it got lesser and lesser as we went further away. So right now we're on Fox Farm. And uh, thank all of you for the interest in, in this car. It's absolutely amazing. I didn't realize that this was such a, such a big selling used car. The Subaru Crosstrek, I had no idea. But like tons of dealerships are constantly calling me saying, come down we'll write you a check right now and I'm not trading it in for anything I don't need anything I have a brand new car but uh as I said I was going to give you guys like a month or a month and a half to see if any of, of you guys wanted this car at the dealer purchase price which is always way less than the private party value doing 
that because I do care a lot about you guys and you guys have done a lot for me. Literally, I could sell it for $3,500 or, or $4,000 more if I don't just take it to the dealership. So I'm offering this vehicle to you guys for the same price that the dealership is offering me. And the dealership doesn't take into consideration that it's got a two inch lift, that I've got um, almost a fairly new set of snow tires that are gonna come come with the car, plus these regular tires on the car. And I don't buy cheap stuff either. I buy the best because I, I, I want the most safety. fast. It is moving fast. We're going to take some of these twists and turns to get to uh, try and follow this storm here. But again, we're dealing with that beautiful, beautiful scent fresh rain the ozone one of you guys told me what it's actually called and i can't remember what the name is but yeah thank you guys for, for always educating me showing me what's up of the rainfall but we were supposed to get a lot more rain today it was supposed to be a really good day of just scattered thunderstorms and unfortunately we're not getting that as much as it was supposed to I am going to go take the lift today at Snow Summit and do a video going up and down the lift and then up at the top for you guys. If they're going to let us go up because of the because of the rain right now. They might not. Not because of the rain, but because of the thunderstorms in the area. similar place as we were for the last storm, for the last thunderstorm, is because uh, this is where the storm's at, up over here, to the left. Once again, 
the bear just look, bear looks so amazing, so green like that. I mean, it's just remarkable, isn't it? But believe it or not, every year it looks like that because uh, of the constant snow making. It'd be so nice if the rest of our town was green like that everywhere. All right, so we're on Primrose. Starting to get into a little more of the rain here. we caught something you can see over there it's really nasty looking It's like super dry. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going over to the resort. As I said, hopefully they'll let me up there. I'm gonna have to wear some some sh shorts that uh, won't absorb all the water like these sponges I'm wearing right now. Because I'm sure sitting on the lift chair, it'll be a little bit wet. Maybe not though. Maybe not. Well, it looks like that's probably all we're gonna be able to catch, but I wanted to do one more little run by Bear, since we're right here. It's not gonna be much. Uh, yeah, sorry, I guess it's not gonna be anything. spot where we might catch some some good heavy rain then next Tuesday we're going on a seven mile hike up here on, on one of our special trails so hopefully you guys enjoy that video I think that's gonna be it for this video but thank you guys <laughs> this is what I do anytime we get any weather this is what I do so um, even if it's just a few drops if it's five minutes worth of rain if it's ten hours worth of rain this is what I do snow everything I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it but I am 
please like and subscribe. Help me out a little bit, you guys. I'd appreciate it. Um, you're helping out someone with a serious passion for something. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping someday my passion pays off. I really am. But even my regular job, that I'm the, I'm the only one. I love what I do. So I'm very, very lucky in, in life the past, I don't know, maybe six to eight years that I, I get to do what I want to do each day. I don't have to rely on anybody else. I don't, I don't rely on a boss or anything like that. I create my own income. So I'm very, very, very fortunate. It took a lot of risk, sacrifice, heartache to get here, but it is what it is, and I am excited about it. Thank you guys again for your support. I love you guys so much. Always here for you guys. Don't hesitate. Um, if any of you have any more questions about this vehicle, feel free to hit me up. And uh, yeah, I would love one of you guys to have this car. Um, as I said, I'm going to give it a, about a month and a half. And then uh, if, if none of you take it, then I'm just going to take it down to the dealership. Because, uh, yeah, or I'll do the private party sale. But actually, that is what I'll do because I can get so much more money doing it like that. But as I said, you guys can literally have this car for what the car dealership would offer me for the car. And any of you who know anything about car dealerships, I used to sell cars, but any of you who know anything about them, they, they, they don't give you much at all um, in terms of like trade in value or anything like that. And I'm not even trading it in for anything. So they offered me 15.6. So I can go down and get a check right now for 15.6 for the car. Um, but I'd rather give it to one of you guys for that. So take care. Love you all. I will talk to you later. Peace out.